Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. We're gonna go over an extreme drill you can do to help you feel the rotation of the body and the shallowing of the shaft working in harmony if you're someone who doesn't really, who hasn't had a feel for that um, at all. So um, this is a pretty difficult drill to do initially. Um, try it at your own risk kind of stuff, okay? So if you're someone who wants to really feel the rotation of the body combined with the shallowing of the shaft, and you, tip, and you don't know how to do it, this may be the place to start just because it's so extreme. So we know that at the top of the backswing, most good ball strikers see the shaft shallow in transition, okay? You can see the, sh the angle of the shaft in comparison to, to the ground is shallowing and flattening in transition. We, that's, that's what most people want to do in the downswing. So how do, we, how do we feel for that? Well, in the downswing, assuming that, you, again, you have a decent backswing again, if you do not pull your hands, that is a great place to start. You pulling your hands, you can see makes the shaft very, or very, very steep. So we can definitely not pull our hands, okay? So here's a drill for you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stop the top of the backswing, assuming you have a decent backswing, lead the wrist flat, trail wrist bent, okay? Then you're gonna cross the club, cross the line significantly. You can see, for me, the top of the, the backswing, the club points more up and back. I'm gonna start crossing the line without cupping my lead wrist, okay? I don't wanna cut my lead wrist because that makes the face very open. I'm gonna cross the line significantly while my lead wrist is still flat. And from here, I'm gonna try to do my best to rotate. And you can see the rotation of my body counters that across the line feel, and the club is forced to fall way back and down to get back to the ball. Because if I'm across and I don't do that and I rotate, I'm, I'm gonna miss the ball. I'm not sure what exactly really is gonna happen. I'm, I know I'm gonna miss the ball. I know I'm gonna be so steep on it, okay? So let, let's try one just as just for fun. Let's just see what happens, okay? Whatever happens, happens. If I stop at the top of my backswing, I cross the line, and I and I try to make that rotation without letting this club fall, you can see I like totally missed the ball. I hit my GC quad. Not fun. So you can also see on the video the shaft was super, super steep, not a functional delivery of the club head back into the ball, okay? So what we want to try to do instead is, if we go to the top of the backswing, cross the line, and we try to do a rotation, you can see we want this club to fall back and down, okay? So let's try one here, okay? I'm gonna stop at the top, assuming a good backswing first, cross the line, and I'm gonna rotate the hell out of it as I let this club fall back and down. And you can see a lot of shallowing of the club in transition to get me to have a decent delivery, which was pretty decent, seven degrees inside out, three degrees down. Not my typical, but because I shallowed it out more, it was a little bit more inside out, okay? So let's try again. I'm gonna stop at the top of the backswing, okay? Normal backswing, lead wrist flat, trail wrist bent, cross the line significantly, and then rotate the hell out of it, and you can see I let that club fall way back and down as I rotate it so that I can go from one extreme and work my way back into an acceptable place to deliver the club and ball. And that was eight and a half degrees inside of three and a half down. So again, more inside out than what I'm used to seeing for, for, for me personally. But from a drill's perspective, this drill definitely did its job. It forced me to rotate and shallow the hell out of it to come back from that very awkward and significantly exaggerated spot, okay? So if you're someone who struggles with marrying up the rotation and the shallowing of the club, or you struggle to, you don't know what to feel for, this could be a good place to start because if you don't do it, you're gonna miss the ball significantly. So let me try one more for you guys, okay? I'm going to stop at the top, cross the line without, while still maintaining my lead wrist flat, then I'm gonna rotate and let the club fall back and down. And you can see again, the shaft shallow significantly, traveling back and down as I rotated through the ball. And again, that would be nine degrees inside out. So what we're, we're trending in the direction we want to see the club move if you're someone who just struggles with feeling the rotation and the shallowing of the club working in harmony. So hope that makes sense. Again, try your own risk with this drill. It's pretty hard drill to do. Uh, more of a feedback tool, more of a grow your own awareness tool uh, that you can eventually carry into the golf swing, into your normal golf swing. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, leave in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching everybody.